Here's how to place images inside text with Canva. It's very easy to do, and if you'd like to follow along, you can click the link in the description to try Canva for free or simply use it for easier login access. So I do just have a background here that's gonna be irrelevant. You don't need to have that if you don't want to. Nevertheless, what we wanna do here is go on over to elements on the left side, and as you can see, I have letters typed in, but that's what you can do, just type in letters at the top and hit enter. And we're gonna be looking for these frames right here that we wanna use. So for this example, I'm just gonna drag and drop this in there. Let's go back over to elements. Let's say we're gonna go with S. And I'm not gonna do all, I was gonna do the word island, but you know, I don't need to do that many. It's gonna take a little bit longer. So we have our sections here. Now all we need to do, is say go to our uploads, is we need to drag and drop these specific images that we wanna add in. So for this one, I'm gonna drag it. You'd notice it's gonna take up the whole screen, but we want it right here on the actual letter and let go. Let's do another one. I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna add that right there. And as an example, let's do this one, of course. Now there's probably something else you're gonna to wanna to do once you add images inside text. So let's click on say this letter right here is we're gonna to wanna to move it around. So if we hover over right here, we're gonna click on crop and now we can actually like center it what we want shown. Let's say we want to do it like that. We can do this one. Same thing with right here. Let's go here and click on crop and we can just have a good idea of what was gonna be in that specific letter. Do done and then just like this one more time, we're gonna go with crop and we're on the L. So let's do something like that. I think looks perfectly fine. And there you have it. That's going to be the tutorial when it comes to placing images inside text with Canva. Let's say we want to edit the background. We're going to do something to make it pop. There you go. Now you're much easier to see. So if you got any value out of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And of course, if you made it all the way to the end, a virtual high five for you. I will leave a free gift deeper in the description that can help with building and growing your online business. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.